hello guys good day and um, welcome to my channel or oh, uh, today I'll be um, hosting throughout um, with our polls and I'll be talking to you guys about relationship and mental health so this video is gonna really um, focus on relationship I'll talk about my experience and related to mental health as a mental health uh, student nurse and I'm um, working towards becoming a mental health nurse and um, coupled with my own personal uh, experience from both my past uh, relationship and my present I think it's better to uh, talk about all this because really um, this all have to have a lot to do with the way we think and the way we do things around us. Relationship, um, as they say, is where we are two different individuals uh, who doesn't know it themselves come together uh, to form a bond. Um, this could be a man and a woman and this can be same gender so I don't discriminate so uh, whichever um, lifestyle, lifestyle you choose to live is your choice and I will never discriminate or say oh this is not good so when it comes to relationship we're talking about two people coming together to form a bond like to be together to live together to stay together to get married have plans together uh, take care of each other love each other you know support each other this is what we call relationship right um but also some people fail to understand that also relationship uh has a very uh, strong role to play with our mental health it's really important um that we really most times we need to take ourselves out of our own zone like you know think just reflect on ourselves like are we really okay in this relationship or what is really going on uh, is my relationship um, affecting me is my relationship having any um, loophole in my life or uh, is, there, is there any issue with me or something like that I think when you start asking such question and maybe when you write them down because I'm the kind of person that I instead of uh, forgetting something I rather write it down so that I don't forget it either I use my phone I have another um, like I have a whatsapp uh, number my old number I saved my name on the whatsapp then what I do is I use that as a what for to remember everything including my password like things that are really vital any f information or uh, 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 notes I need to write out or I need to remember let me later on I just go to my phone if I'm not with any paper pen go to my straight my phone go to my whatsapp and just type it into that that will be saved there it's good for you to keep records of things so when you think that oh my god I think you, you really need to go and ask yourself whether that, uh, your relationship is really having an effect on you it's really important because when you get to know all those things or all those effects you might be able to work towards that but if you don't know you don't know that is it if you don't know you don't know but you need to ask yourself is this really affecting me am I having issues with this is this really having a, an impact on my job is this having an impact on on, 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 on my children? Uh, the way I I, 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 I I surround myself around my children. Does it have any uh, effects on my family? You know, when it comes to family, it means your your parents, your siblings. Or is it affecting you? Is it affecting your personality? Uh, also, is it affecting your social lifestyle? Is it? I mean. These are the questions you ask yourself and when you write them all down, now you have got something to work on. So for instance, we say it's affecting your social lifestyle or it's affecting your family, or it's affecting your job. Now you got to pick that particular one you want to work on because you can't just work on all of them at the same time. Relationship and mental health plays they both play a role in our lives and the, the sooner we understand the better because 
I, from my own personal experience, it really affected me because, you know, um, when you're having issues in your relationship and you're struggling and this and that, you might find it difficult to socialize in the sense that you try to hide yourself from others. Like you don't want them to see or like know what is really going on with you or what is really happening and you try to hide yourself. That's at, at that same time you start um, separating yourself from people, distancing yourself from people, thereby you're, you now start becoming lonely. You, your thinking will be different, the way you do things, everything will start changing because you start distancing yourself from people like no social lifestyle, isolating yourself. Um, it's not really good because this can also affect um, the way you work. When you, because if your social lifestyle is affected, that means your work also. If you work uh, with a group of teams, that means it might also affect you when it comes it comes to work. So it's really important for us to ask ourselves if we are really having, if our relationship is really struggling, if our relationship is really having an impact on our own personal lifestyle. And if it is, I think it's good for you to write them down. And when you write them down, now you start finding a way like, how do we solve this? How do I solve this out? Now, it is your relationship that we are talking about here. Let's not go into the mental health part. So the mental health is important, but the relationship is the problem. So what's the cause of this problem? Is it that you're not happy with your relationship? Is it that you're not happy with your marriage? Or is it that your, your husband is not treating you right? Or, or you're not getting any, you know, the vibe you want in that relationship. Now that is what you work on. Because when that relationship is sorted, that is when your mental health will start working up. That's it. No, that, there is no two ways. You can't work on your mental health when your relationship is still struggling. So you need to focus on this relationship and work it out before that mental health can be sorted out. Mm -hmm. They are both the same thing. If your relationship is your problem, if your relationship is a hindrance to your mental health, from you getting to where you want to be, like from you getting to that, you know, ecstasy of life, you know, you, you can't achieve it if your relationship is still gonna be is still struggling so you have to focus like how do we work it out if you're struggling do you want to quit when it comes to those who are not married like do you want to leave the relationship if it is the best option for you then you do it but most women because they have been in a relationship of for, for three to five years ten years and they oh my god i can't leave him because we have been in a long relationship it doesn't really matter that you are in a relationship for 10 years and afterwards you get married. My dear, you are what I call living in bondage. It's an entanglement and look at you, you're gonna die young. Look at you, your mental health, depression, anxiety are gonna build so high that you will die of depression. You won't be happy with yourself, you won't be happy with whatever you do, even your children, you won't be able to take care of them the way you really wanted to do because you're struggling. You are important. When you start seeing yourself as being important, the better for you. So, I have been in a toxic relationship, which I've never talked about, but I will talk about it soon. And that relationship really dealt with me. Like, I started isolating myself. I became, I don't care. I lost myself. To the point that I, you may not really recognize me, but I have to put on a pretense, you know, just to keep on going because I don't want people to really see me struggling because I don't really want people to know that I'm, this is really going on in my life. It's not easy, I understand, because I've been in that shield before. But I am saying that if you really want to work your relationship, I think it's better you call your, your partner. Call them, sit them down and like, let's talk about it. If it's not going to work out, then we meet a counselor. If you guys really want to follow up, but if you guys are already married, you can work it out. If it is not going to work out, my dear, pack your load and go. Just pack your load and go. 
there is someone out there waiting for you. There is someone out there who is meant for you. There is someone out there who's going to give you all those loving, all those caring, all those things that you've been lacking. And that love and caring is all you need to build your mental health back to life again. Mental health has a role to play. Relationship has a role to play. Both of them work together. So if your relationship is good, you're in a good health. Trust me. But if your relationship, once you are struggling there, then everything about you, your emotional well-being, everything will turn upside down. The way you relate with people, the way you talk with people, your facial, your facial presentation, your appearance, your voice, the way you talk. Because it will all be affected. But when you, once you start on a new road and you became things about as you got into a new relationship and things started getting better, you will see how tra things will change dramatically. Like it's like a wipe, it will just wipe away everything, all the old things you've been feeling. You will f start feeling like a newborn baby, it's like a change. A total change, a restoration, like things will start working good for you because you are in a good position, which is all because of love, because of your relationship. Relationship have a very strong hold in someone's life. Trust me, if your relationship, and if you're not happy in a relationship, you will not be happy at all. You will not be happy in your social lifestyle, in your workplace. Even those who are students, your academic life, your academic um, pursue as in the way you won't have that zeal to really put into it. But when you are in the right mind, that right mindset, you'll be able to articulate, to think, to bring out new ideas, you know, to make things happen. So it's important that we really think and think about this and understand that relationships have a role to play in our mental health. Um, this is all we have uh, today and the next time I would like to deliberate into it more and more and talk uh, about the mental health and also I will talk about how um, we can work towards that. Thank you very much for listening to me. I try